things that I repetitively think about or say, I'm able to manifest. For my 23rd birthday, my sister morphed my face onto posters of Yashraj films. She, I think, had read this book called The Secret. That's right. Yeah, and the power of uh, you positive, know, thinking. positive thinking. I'm pretty sure that all of you have heard about Law of Attraction and Manifestation and Manifest to manifest the things that they want. But you and I both know that affording such luxury or living a great life in general is not that simple. Because on one side, while we see such manifestation content going viral, in the real world, things are getting tough day by day. Google cutting hundreds of jobs in its engineering product and hardware divisions. PayPal is the latest company to announce job cuts. The latest, of course, is Accenture, which announced that it's letting go of 19,000 employees. So what exactly is the truth? Is making money all about manifestations? Like if you keep thinking about it, it's going to happen. Positive thinking, yeah. Yeah. So in this session, I will be sharing the most powerful lessons I've learned from my mentors and friends. I gave this session at IIT Roorkee to a group of engineers and designers. But the principles I share here are going to be relevant for anyone who wants to raise their monthly income. So without further ado, let's get started. The question is, if I'm not a billionaire, then why should you listen to me about making money, right? It's not like I have created too much wealth. So is my knowledge even credible? So before moving forward, I just want to clear that uh, just like you, I have been exploring a lot of things and I have been connecting with people who are way, way ahead of me in this entire race of life. And I've been making notes and just figuring out what are they doing so well. So this entire session is a quick summary of things I've learned from people who are way, way more successful than me. A lot of these tips are very commonly discussed in inner circles of content creation, even startup community, even investors, but very few people talk about this publicly. And so I've basically shortlisted all of those things that I feel people need to know. That's me on the left side uh, from my 12th, just before my board exams. Uh, if I shave, I would probably look like this only. And uh, I still remember the kind of thoughts and priorities I had when I was just getting out of school, right? For me, I thought that just getting marks and just being very smart and very intelligent uh, will secure a good salary, a good income for me. I thought that is how you really make it in life. Uh, but majority of people, including me, would never realize what is the most important thing to get in life because we are often given a narrative. We are given a narrative by people around us that this is important, this is what you need to chase, and if you chase this, you'll get why. Wait a second, wait a second. Why am I talking about goal setting when this entire video had a hook about manifestation? Well, it turns out that manifestation does not work until unless you have three core things. A specific desire, a practical plan of action, and energy to pursue that plan. This is the bare minimum. Because you don't need me to teach you how to think positively. You actually need something else altogether. And that is why, unlike all the other positive thinking videos, this time you'll actually know why you're not able to get what you want. So let's get back to the video. The truth is even those people are clueless. So it is supremely important that we now understand what is truly, truly important when you chase your goals. The biggest disadvantage of being a student is that we always rely on our nearest advisors to tell us what matters. So if you have a career decision, if you have a job decision, you would probably go check your WhatsApp, ask your parents, ask your friends. You would ask them. That is the worst way to take advice. Do you really feel that the most intelligent people would be around you? It is very rare to have someone who's smart, intelligent, knows what to do and be in your proximity. So in reality, majority people end up focusing and learning the wrong things, which is very, very unfortunate. I'm going to tell you something that might sound very untrue, but it is actually true. And if you ask any senior person, that senior person will agree. In the cases of smart people, the problem is not them failing to achieve goals. As a rarely hoka ki koi smart insan goal set kare aur sal mein achieve na kar pae. The problem is that we set goals from whatever little awareness we have. And then we actually achieve them. Now you say, Anish, you are saying you have set goals and you have achieved them. So what is the downside? The downside is 
कि वंस यू अचीव द गोल यू रियलाइज दैट यू वर थिंकिंग टू स्मॉल अब ये अगर एक साल में समझ आ गया तो ठीक है बट देर आर मेनी पीपल हु सेट अ गोल फ्रॉम देयर लिमिटेड अवेयरनेस दे स्पेंड टेन ईयर्स अचीविंग दैट गोल एंड आफ्टर टेन ईयर्स दे रियलाइज भाई बहुत छोटा मांग लिया एंड एट दैट पॉइंट यू कॉन्ट गो बैक बिकॉज यू हैव ऑलरेडी स्पेंड टेन ईयर्स परस्यूइंग अ गोल विच वॉज वे बिलो दैन यूर एक्चुअल पोटेंशियल so why do most people miss out there are many reasons but we'll cover three major major issues number one is of course you are unaware of all the possibilities that this life can give you number two you have average work quality and at the very end you have weak soft skills and very low charisma these three are the most popular reasons that i saw in myself and i keep seeing these again and again the problem is ki you are unaware ki is duniya mein log kitna kama rahe hain aur kaise kama rahe hain because obviously your friends will not tell you and the people who are making money are not free enough to guide you right on the other hand average work quality and portfolio if you are not obsessed with your work it will show ki aap bas time pass kar rahe ho if you really want people to come to you you need to be in the top 1% of your game but i see a lot of students asking for internships asking for work asking for money but not delivering really really good work that deserves that kind of money because everybody wants to eat but nobody wants to hunt so you can't expect amazing kind of money with average work and average portfolios and at the very end weak soft skills and no no charisma people don't know what to say who to say kab bolna hai kab sunna hai aur kis dhang se bolna hai because i can sell you a figma course i can sell you a ui design course but lehaz ka koi course nahi hota tameez ka bhi koi course nahi hota ye aapko sikhai bhi nahi ja sakti but ye seekhi ja sakti hai so things like behavior soft skills just understanding how to navigate through difficult discussions they can't be taught but they can be learned and they are extremely valuable because i notice anybody who's way way more successful than me has checked all of these boxes I saw this very interesting quote that said no one is going to go out of their way to tell you this but you can create anything you want if you make it a priority aur ye quote sunne mein bahut simple lag raha hai but is quote ka significance mujhe pichle 6 mahine mein realize hua hai kyunki mujhe dheere dheere ye samajh aaya ki yaar main life mein 10 cheezon ko chase kar raha hu whereas in reality you can only chase one main goal at any point of time you can't have two main goals you can't have three main goals you'll always need to pick one main goal The issue is majority of the people are confused कि हमें पहले क्या चाहिए So you can have anything you want in life, but not all at once. So you need to figure out what do you want most सबसे पहले And for me, a big game changer was cutting down my screen time because I realized कि मैं आठ आठ घंटे फोन पर ही बैठा हुआ हूँ एंड अगर ये ऐप्स दिन की आठ घंटे का अटेंशन मेरे से छीन रही है इट इज बेसिकली एट आवर्स टेक एन अवे फ्रॉम माई गोल बिल्डिंग और जस्ट परस्यूट ऑफ माई गोल्स a lot of things are sold to snatch our attention lower our energy and keep us intoxicated ye jitni bhi apps hai they are spending millions of dollars to make sure that you give them your attention ab bahar jao every cafe every restaurant is designed to keep you sick it is designed to keep you lethargic any big place that you go any tv channel you open they are designed to keep you intoxicated so you need to be very aware of this and you'll understand me ye sab baatein kyu bol raha hu kyunki aane wali tips aapke kaam aayegi nahi until unless you have high energy levels until unless you have good attention without attention without energy none of these tips will help you achieve remarkable results i follow this guy is is called zack pogrob i would totally recommend you to follow him he shares a lot of interesting thoughts and he said 5 to 9 years of obsession will save you 5 decades of working a 9 to 5 now notice how he says 5 to 9 years log 2 3 saal mein hi thak jate hain and he is starting with 5 to 9 years anything remarkable needs a minimum of 5 to 9 years and don't even blindly believe me main khud har session se pehle ye disclaimer deta hu that not every advice from a senior or a successful person is relevant or true so you need to have your own intelligence just literally go to every session thinking ki ye insaan mujhe 10 cheeze batayega i have to shortlist just two that are relevant to my own personal situation kyunki kabhi kabhi kya hota hai ki agar koi aadmi kamyab ho ya successful ho to uski bekar ki bhi baatein samajhdari ki lagti hai so that filter needs to be there ki just because this guy is successful doesn't mean ki jo bhi bol raha hai it is true or it is really really intelligent if you take advice from everyone 
you end up like everyone. So just make sure that you have some certain set of rules. Aaj aap is summit mein aayo, you will attend multiple talks. And majority of students kya karte? Sab ki advice note down kar lete, sab ki advice apply karna shuru kar dete. Nahi hoga, it is not scalable. So please make sure you just pick two to three actionable goals from what you learn from my workshop, from any other workshop, and just give yourself 30 days to just figure out those three things and nothing beyond that. The amount of money you make is tied to who you solve for and how well you solve it. Ye lesson seekne mein mujhe bohat time laga. There's a reason why I don't sell UX courses. There's a reason why I don't sell Figma courses. Because I want to solve problems for someone who is running a business who has a big turnover. It is not that I don't have shock to earn The truth is that I don't have to earn money. And UX ka time is very small. That is why I'm not launching a cohort for 1 lakh rupees because I know that at max, I can sell it to 100 or 150 people in 4 months. I have to spend my own time. I have to go through so much energy. It is a complete B2C model. But I am recommending you folks to always think B2B. Solve problems for someone who makes more money and you will always have more leverage. Alex Hormozzi says, solve rich people problems. And I think this is the most important advice ever. So being after very, very interesting, very, very superb at your own skill, there's a huge probability that you will still not make money. So I'm saying you might practice you might become really good. Aapko solve rich people problems. You are in B2B as well. But you might still not end up making any money. But aisa kyu? what can go wrong? There are three popular reasons. If you have fulfilled your checklist fulfill kar liye and you are still not making money, probably your compounding has not reflected yet. Because in that quote that I showed you, 5 to 9 years, compounding takes some time to get to the inflection point. अगर आपको बहुत साल हो गए करते हुए तो most probably you are operating in the wrong market. हो सकता है आपका TAM बहुत छोटा हो. TAM is addressable market. Your target addressable market. तो अगर आप बहुत talented हो, बहुत मेहनती हो, but you are serving the wrong market, it will never scale. And at the very end, the luck is not in your favor. और ये होता है. No matter what you believe, किस्मत होती है. मैंने बहुत लोगों के कानियां सुनी है, बहुत case studies पढ़ी है. आप चाहे कुछ भी बोल लो, लोग बोलते हैं मेरे हाथ में है मैंने सब कुछ कर लिया ये कर लिया वो कर लिया but if you really look at the bigger picture you would realize that it is not just that one person but a lot of other environmental factors that contributed to that person's success क्योंकि जब कोई जीत जाए ना तो पहली बात उसको ज़्यादा smart नहीं समझते और अगर कोई हार जाए तो उसको ज़्यादा पागल नहीं समझते because in a lot of cases उस आदमी की मेहनत या skill set नहीं geography timing and sheer blind luck plays a huge role. Geography means that if there are two designers at same skill level, one is in Bangalore and the other is in Meerut, then the geography of Bangalore is better. And in a span of two to three years, there will be more opportunities in Bangalore. So this is not a matter of geography. The other is timing. Those children who will learn spatial design this year, they will always have more leverage. जो आज से दो साल बाद स्पेशल डिजाइन सीखेगा उसपे लेवरेज नहीं होगी आप सीखते रहो वेबसाइट सीखते रहो आईओएस कुछ नहीं होने वाला दैट मार्केट इस सैचुरेटेड बट इफ यू लर्न फॉर द मेटा क्वेस्ट थ्री इफ यू लर्न फॉर द एप्पल विजन प्रो दिस इज द टाइम टू लर्न आई मेड टू थ्री वीडियोस ऑन स्पेशल you can have that leverage, you can have timing on your side. Blind luck kam kuch karni sakte, but yeah, I'm just mentioning it because it plays a big role. So there are two core topics that I will discuss today. Jo pura ka pura mene uh, hype create kiya tha ki AI ko use karna hai, ye use karna hai, wo use karna hai. The truth is that AI is a co-pilot. It's not your replacement. And first we'll understand ki how do you design better than others. Phir hum samjhenge how do you sell better than others. Because just designing great is not enough. You really need to know how to sell your ideas, how to convince someone to pay you. So how do you achieve that? And end me, we'll have a live Q&A. First of all, we understand how do you design better than other competitors in the market. First of all, keep a clear distinction that your priority should not be about making designs that look great. Visual design, specifically in the Indian market, doesn't matter. In the Indian market, you need to deliver designs that work and scale. Scale ka matlab, you have a proper system for everything. Everything is accessible. Works on Android and iOS. 
works on all responsive devices. You have all the breakpoints sorted. Now, if you have to use illustrations or hover interactions, then you have to use important things. You have to solve them. So, for the Indian market, driving business is the only KPI you need to optimize for and not aesthetics. After that, just figure out. कि what is the actual problem? So many designers get a PRD, which is the product requirement document, and they would just start solving problems without cross questioning the PM, without cross questioning the stakeholders. That can you please validate if this is the actual problem? So you need to first research. Please make this a habit. Research and start refining the problem statement. I'll give you a quick example. I keep giving this example everywhere. Let's say you're working in an e-commerce company, जो jackets बेचती है. And one day the PM comes to you and says कि अंश हमारी iOS app में ना हमने एक new jacket launch करी but nobody is buying it. There's something wrong with the UI. Fix the design so that more people buy the jacket. Now if you're a rookie designer, you will quickly go to Figma and start collecting inspiration and start redesigning the UI. But if you're a better designer, you will first say show me the app and you will test the app. Then you will get a customer and ask the customer to use the app. And recognize what the customer is doing. Turns out, when you click on checkout, checkout पे क्लिक करने के बाद, the options to put your credit card or debit card are not loading on time, and that is why people are not buying the jacket. So it is not the UI; it is actually a backend problem. But how will you recognize this when you go through the numbers, when you go through the data, when you actually check out की drop off का हो रहा है? So the key metric is drop off. That in the entire user journey, where is the, the user dropping off? This is a very simple example that I've given you, but the point is, don't just quickly start solving a problem. A lot of designers keep focusing on looks. Please start focusing on functionality and the core purpose of the feature that you're designing. A lot of designers wait for a mentor, wait for their plus one, wait for their manager to give feedback. I'm going to show you how you can use ChatGPT to do all of that. It has become really, really simple. What is holding you guys back? You don't need to wait for anyone now to become a great designer. So you need to run an audit of your knowledge of the tool and the subject. ये एक ऐसा framework है that I keep sharing again and again. That when it comes to a skill set, there are two core components: the tool and the subject. In UX, the tool is Figma, but the subject is problem solving. In video editing, the tool is After Effects and Premiere Pro, but the subject is the subject of video editing. कि what makes a video great? एक वीडियो में रिटेंशन कैसे बढ़ता है अब या आप आफ्टर इफेक्ट्स में करो फाइनल कट प्रो में करो या अपने आईफोन पे करो डजेंट मैटर इन रियलिटी द पर्सन हु नोज द सब्जेक्ट एक्चुअली डज बेटर देन द पर्सन हु नोज द टूल बिकॉज व्हाट डू इंस्टाग्राम रील क्रिएटर्स डू डू यू थिंक दे आर वेरी इनक्रेडिबल एडिटर्स ऑन आफ्टर इफेक्ट्स नो दे नो द सब्जेक्ट सो दे नो बेसिक टूल्स बट दे नो देयर सब्जेक्ट रियली वेल एंड दैट इज व्हाई एवरीबॉडी इज डूइंग वेरी वेल ऑन इंस्टाग्राम बिकॉज इंस्टाग्राम की रील एडिटिंग फीचर्स आर सुपर्ब You don't have to do something very, very complicated. I made a very interesting uh, note in my notion a few days back, where most people confuse mindset with the skill. So you would be seeing a lot of video editing cohorts these days, right? I'm not going to take names, but those video editing cohorts are actually After Effects courses. They're Premiere Pro courses. They're not teaching video editing. They're not teaching the art of creating a good storyboard. So people are confusing. the mindset behind a specific skill so when people say that we are selling a communication or a skill course in reality they are just selling basic tenses and basic sentences they don't really teach you how to convince someone how to persuade someone and how do you recognize aap bologe ki yaar main to skill seekh raha how will i know ki subject mein kya seekhna hai ask chat gpt there is literally no question that can go unanswered so for example if figma is your tool how many of you here are beginner designers beginner ux designers who are just starting out All right. So if you are doing an audit of your tool knowledge, please make sure that at least these three things are sorted. And ye deck I will release on the WhatsApp group, so you don't have to take any picture. And if UX is your subject, if you feel that you already know about Figma, then these three are the main points: refining the problem statement, basis of information architecture, your systems, your user journeys, basics of colors, typography. You need these things before you enter the market. Now I made a video a few months back. It was called "10 UX Design Resources as Good as a UX Design Degree." I would totally nudge you folks to check this video out. This video didn't do that well, but this had immensely valuable resources, all for free. Really, it can help you upskill yourself. In fact, how many of you do not know about LearnUIUX.in? 
or almost all of you know right so please please go and finish this course i still find so many people stuck at week 4 week 5 this was a 9 week course and even though i can't say this on record i know for a fact ki agar koi bachcha ye 9 week ka course kar le very easily you can crack an internship very easily i think you can crack a job as well which will pay you anywhere between 75 to 80k per month but internship to is pakka the only thing is that a lot of people not even completing the entire syllabus because we had like so many videos on mastering figma spatial design tons of things were there can you rely on memory no so aaj bhi i hope that you're making notes i hope that once you go back you write down your notes on notion at this point even if i'm at a panel discussion i would scribble my notes on a piece of paper go back home and then make a notion page where i document everything in thorough detail please folks without documentation you will not scale you need to use either to like notion a fine google keep whatever you use to make sure you save that and this is a screenshot from my notion so i'm not joking i have been documenting my learning since 2019 it's 2024 now every single important thing that i've learned in my life i have documented it in thorough detail and trust me it really helps me it really helps me compound so let's come to some practical use cases because we've had a lot of theory for a while let's just say you're a ui designer and you're trying to build a new feature let's say it is an onboarding for an ios app the usual process looks like this you would go to mobin or ui sources or any other website and collect screenshots and then you would put them on figma and find common patterns i would recommend you to take all of your screenshots and go to chat gpt get the pro plan upload all of your screenshots and say act as a senior ui designer who specializes in ios mobile onboarding experiences super specific about the platform and the flow that you're making i'll feed you three screenshots so i did not put individual screenshots i literally took the mobin screenshot where all four five uis were in a single flow so i'm saving my time each screenshot shows the onboarding flow for an ios app I am designing a new onboarding flow for an app that helps college students find flatmates any random use case. I need you to study all the three apps I show you and then in the same prompt I've written then you need to list out common UI patterns they have list out all the differences they have and also point out two good and two bad things each has done in their UI design. Now imagine the amount of time you would have spent to do this for multiple apps. In the end keep your answers short and to the point speak from the lens of a UX designer give all answers in well formatted headings and bullet points so in a prompt you need to make sure that you set the expectations of the output but otherwise it will give you a very big paragraph and a lot of lengthy sentences super difficult to read that so i posted these screenshots in less than 30 seconds less than 30 seconds analyzed everything and started giving me common ui patterns it gave me good and bad ui design elements for each and every app and it's incredible but 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 big disclaimer you remember this flow chart i keep repeating this flow chart again and again this is how human beings will work with ai on the very top the human thinks then the human will prompt ai and give context just how i gave a prompt when the ai gets the prompt ai will give you a result just how we got this result right here but you don't blindly accept this result as a human being as a professional you validate it and then the human builds on top of that result and then the human delivers so i want you to keep this flow in mind and not just blindly rely on whatever chat gpt gives you i made this video a few days back which was titled how to make 2024 the best year of your life is there anyone who has seen this video very few people right but if you are in your college and if you are confused about your priorities i would strongly recommend you i have read countless productivity books countless career guidance books and i created a proper workbook that distills all the important questions in this one single video there was one more video on career road map so a lot of students used to ask me ansh we don't know what career to follow we don't know how to apply for jobs we don't know what kind of money we should earn this one single video can help you get that clarity i just thought i'll plug it in so that you get the resource there are 10 skills of course we had limited time today but if i had an option to teach you i would teach you these 10 skills i think each and every skill is absolutely important i see these 10 attributes in almost every single successful person 
नंबर वन दी एबिलिटी टू मैनेज योर फिजिकल एनर्जी एवरीबडी टॉक्स अबाउट टाइम मैनेजमेंट वाई आर पीपल नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट एनर्जी मैनेजमेंट बिकॉज इफ यू हैव लो एनर्जी एंड अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम दैट टाइम इज वेस्टेड बट इफ यू हैव हाई एनर्जी एंड लेस टाइम यू विल स्टिल गेट अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स डन बट हाउ डू यू मैनेज एनर्जी हाउ डू यू रेज योर फिजिकल एनर्जी दैट्स अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन एंड स्लीप ऑप्टमाइजेशन इट इज अनबिलीवेबल हाउ इन द पास्ट वन और टू ईयर्स हैव बिन फॉलोइंग अ कम्प्लीटली सेपरेट सेट ऑफ पीपल सो हैव बिन फॉलोइंग पीपल ऑन इंस्टाग्राम uh there are opening companies you know these these people are in the content creator circle and in the entrepreneurship circle and it's very funny i keep asking them they always post such stuff on close friends they would never post it on their public story so i know that majority of these people you won't believe if i had to take out a percentage more than 60% of people on my close stories are just talking about what they had and the fact that they slept early and the fact that they touched their 10000 step and the fact that they had a good sleep everybody in my age is now obsessed about nutrition and sleep because all of them have realized that these are the fundamentals of life and not learning a skill and doing courses and doing this and that third basics of magic and performing on stage now you'll be like why should i learn about magic the separate topic for another day but please go and check out some psychological tricks magicians use because magicians eventually hypnotize the opposite person and as a designer and as a sales person just knowing the basics of magic will really really help you i have learned magic i'm not even joking i've done a four month course of how do you do magic and how do you perform on stage and it has really helped me become a better speaker become a more confident person because now i can manipulate and influence people without them ever knowing because that is what a magician does when you walk up on stage and pick a card do you think you are in control you're not that's an illusion of control magicians are great at giving a false sense of control and if you learn that you'll be invincible basics of charisma and hypnotism i know sounds very dark but incredible skill to have i have been learning it i've been consistently reading about hypnotism and charisma uh, don't worry i'm not going to like apply it here you can't it's not that simple but i i do apply it actually in my day to day life i've done it in my house i've done it with a lot of people it's a great skill there's a youtube channel called charisma on command i would strongly recommend you folks to check out charisma on command copywriting pretty straightforward basics of style and personal hygiene i don't think i have to explain this and you don't have to look like a george clooney but at least you can look the best version of yourself please keep that in your mind speaking in front of a camera and on stage i think in the next 2 to 3 years everybody would have to become a content creator not a full time content creator but just the ability to speak on loom to speak confidently on a zoom meeting keeping your camera on working remotely selling work to your clients on a zoom call all of these things are directly tied to your ability to speak in front of a camera but if you're a shy person if you're an introverted person if you don't know how to sell in front of a camera you will always hit a ceiling super soon hiring and retaining talent but this is just for entrepreneurs but i am learning the skill this year so i just thought i'll mention it giving and receiving feedback super important i'm just giving you these pointers so that you can go back and google them because we have limited time and the ability to form systems and prescriptions at this point even for the most smallest things in my life i have a proper prescription whether it's uploading a youtube video or an instagram video or making a note everything is now a prescription on my notion i do not rely on my memory to do anything productively so please make sure you are a big big promoter of systems and prescriptions so quick revision of module 1 design is not just for looks it's for function and scale fix both your tool and subject and document everything that you're learning and start using ai any of my free resources to grow your call to action please don't forget to take this call to action seriously number 1 observe any five products could be chips pepsi anything jacket anything and figure out why are they successful and if you experience a terrible product i asked you why was the bus experience terrible i needed to break down why was the bus experience terrible i'm telling you it really helps as a problem solver have a 10 day plan and sit with yourself and audit whether you're lacking in your tool or in your subject and then start fixing those and of course i would totally recommend you to check out learnuiux.in and how to prom.in It's free education but it's very sad how so few people are making full use of it. Last module, how do you sell better than others in life? 
what is the art of making more money how do you make yourself more valuable in the eyes of your client in sales you have two components one is the offer and the other is the pitch okay you first need to fix your offer let's take chat gpt have you ever seen a tv ad for chat gpt any instagram ad for chat gpt why is that because their offer is incredible they never needed to run ads did you ever see a mid journey ad no they have thousands of paid users because their offer was incredible but let's just say your offer is not that good then you need to focus on your pitch and sometimes if your offer is great and your pitch is also great then it just skyrockets so you need to ask yourself that in your sales is the offer lacking or the pitch lacking or are both of them lacking and then individually start working on them so if you want to improve your offer as a creative professional then you need to become really really good at first of all researching and finding patterns it could be using chat gpt it could be using your own brain because the better you are at research the more time you save in actually designing better solutions because you build on top of what other people have already done second designing with systems for scale i think this is pretty evident and third even though i keep saying that don't design for looks and all i think visual design and overall perception matters a lot like it matters supremely like it is way more deeper than you'd think because as human beings we are very visual creatures and in our brain we have allocated certain looks with certain attributes so not sure if you've noticed i haven't actually posted about this so i went to pune and in pune i did two workshops number 1 was on ai and number 2 was on design any time i give an ai workshop this is the exact outfit i wear everywhere why because it's a white turtleneck so it is slightly resembling steve jobs but not a wannabe steve jobs because if it was black then it's a direct copy so i switch the colors but then to look more authoritative you should always have a blazer if you're running late for any conference in life even if you're in your pajamas and your t-shirt just wear a blazer boom 3 second fix instantly you are ready to look slightly more authoritative i all hello moto <laughs> so yeah important subjects that you need to learn they really really matter a lot if you say that no my offer is great but my pitch is terrible i don't know how to sell myself three core components to start working on Number 1 discovering what people want if you're making something that people do not want no matter how much you pitch it will not matter so number 1 ask yourself do people even need this or are you solving this just for yourself just because you think it's a great problem doesn't mean that the world thinks it's a great problem number 2 fix your writing skills i get such terrible linkedin messages it is incredible i am shocked ki ye bachcha send pe press bhi kaise kar pa raha hai thodi to sharam kar lo and you know there are so many people who would message me saying mentor me review my case study review my portfolio please don't expect anybody to review your portfolios and case studies out of the blue people don't have the time for that if i had to hire you i would do it but why would anybody have any incentive to review your work the best strategy is to simply connect with them say this is my work i am learning i want to connect with you that's all and just keep working upload on the public let those people notice you mujhe life mein jitni bhi opportunities mili hai kisi se mang ke nahi mili hai i simply connect with them they are connected with me on linkedin main linkedin pe kuch bhi dalta hu they stalk me and then they message me because in life if you are approaching someone aap already haar gaye ho this is prevalent anywhere if you are the one who is going ki mujhe kuch de do aap already negotiation mein lower hand pe ho because in any negotiation the person who can leave the money on the table has the maximum leverage to aisa image hona chahiye aapka ki bhai tum ho ya nahi ho main bahut khush hu and that is the brand value that you need to maintain so don't ask for favors don't ask for money don't ask for work connect with them then show off ki main apni skill mein kitna acha hu ya kitni achhi hu and let them message you and at the very end the art of speaking clearly and smoothly is pe maine already bahut youtube videos bana diye so i'm not going to repeat that because nobody will reply to you if your work is not good enough to impress and that is the basic truth any time you introduce yourself in a meetup so i see this mistake in physical meetups a student would come to me and spend 5 minutes just explaining what he does and the thing is in a public setting you have 60 seconds 
to do these three things, this one single networking tip will really help you because if you meet anyone successful, that person will instantly recognize ye bachcha samajhdar hai. So in 60 seconds, you need to first tell who are you? Hi, my name is Ansh and I design apps. Why are you important for me? I can help you build your platform. What is the ask? Can I send you my portfolio on your email? Khatam. If your introduction has these three components, that is a good hook for meeting anyone new. But if you have told me about yourself, why are you important for me, but you haven't told me, then there is no CTA. If you have told me about the first and last, but why are you important for me, then why will you do care for me? Nobody will care for you until and unless they want something from you. It is completely transactional until and unless you become friends with them. So, uh, there's this playlist that I have, it's called Fix Your Life. Not sure if you folks have seen this. This has like 17 videos. Kal humne spek video dali on how to negotiate higher prices. You know, job interview mein agar saamne wal bole, nahi dena mujhe ek lakh. What do you do? How do you convince that person to come to one lakh a month? And there are many, many more life skill videos because when I make these videos, I usually in comment section, I will tell you that we have subscribed to UX design. Why are you giving this extra knowledge? Extra and I really want to tell that kid that, bro, this is equally important. Because maybe this is why you're not earning. Because you think that you will learn UX design. Whereas in reality, the subject is very, very wide. So yeah, I think AI ka playlist you already know. Uh, this is the QR code for Learn UI UX in case any one of you is interested. And three books, if you still haven't read, I'm going to end the session in two minutes. Three books, please make sure you read these. They have significantly improved my life. I will recommend you to read any book in life. Just read these three books and you will message me saying, Ansh, these three books we have reborn. We have taken a new life after reading these books. Then three areas you have to improve. Please give yourself a deadline. Verbal speech and fluency. Writing and texting skills, your texting skills need to be on point, whether it's on WhatsApp, whether it's on Slack, and at the very end, physical fitness, skincare, and clothing. How many of you go to gym at least three times a week? Raise your hands. Still decent, but very little. What are other guys doing? Folks, I'm telling you, uh, how many of you are uh, above 25? Very few. All of you are below 25, so you don't gym. Nahi ja because you don't have any damage now. After 25, you realize that you don't have any damage. And of course, it's a very, very complicated subject, but I'm just telling you a quick reminder, please don't take this advice lightly. And learning time management without energy management is useless. So please start figuring out how you can improve your energy levels. So quick revision of module two, work on the offer and then start working on your pitch. Both verbal and written communication matters. And these cold outreach or LinkedIn messages or emails won't do it, brother, until and unless you are extremely good at what you do. So please make sure you are regularly upskilling yourself. Your three CTAs from Module 2 are, number one, schedule our Fix Your Life playlist this month. I wish that playlist people have seen more than that. There is this live stream called Basic Dhruv vs. Amir Arjun, which is only seen by 7,000 people. But I'm telling you that two hours ka story is based on two of my friends from my school, who came to my college. Bhi aaye the, and I worked in Bangalore and those two stories are very very important for you to hear end to end. Practice selling in day to day circumstances at this point. If I'm talking about my mother-in-law, I am pitching. I am pitching, I am pitching, I am pitching, I am storytelling, I get to sell on a road. It is a practice round for me to sell. So don't wait for a moment to practice your communication skills. And please, today I have not talked about so much about this, but I really want you to go back home and Google about exercise, nutrition, and energy levels. This is my email ID. In case you have any doubts, uh, I reply to this email. Pe. AI nahi karta hai. But uh, aise koi faltu sa email bhej do ke, ajeeb sa to nahi reply karunga. But I reply to all the good emails. If you enjoyed this video, then do check out this video of the same series. I am sure that it will help you even more.